I think it's very, very important not to envisage any circumstances in which we would fail to come out of the EU on October the 31st. I don't want to hold out to the EU the prospect that they might encourage my resignation by refusing to agree a deal. To delay. Mr Hunt, respond to that. This matters to me because my birthday is actually on the 1st of November and okay. nothing uh, would be a, a better so birthday present. Day. A birthday present than knowing we've left on the 31st of October. Now, I asked Boris a straight question, and he said very clearly before that it was leaving on October the 31st, Which do is. or die. It is. And I think it's do or die for the country, but not a Prime Minister who will put his own neck on the line. Mr. And Hunt, that is not leadership. Well, Karen, you have summed up why I have not wanted to talk about the 31st of October as a do or die die deadline because I think there is that risk of an election and because Parliament has taken no deal off the table already uh, if you were to say that you are going to guarantee a date you have to be prepared to take us into a general election because you might need to change Parliament if you can't get the majority for that no deal Brexit. Well I think when that's happened in the past when Parliament's been shut down against its will we've actually had a civil war and I think it would be a rather curious thing to do if this is about taking back control for Parliament to actually shut it down. So my answer to that is no. How about you, Boris? Well, I'm not going to take anything off the table any more than I'm going to take ah, no deal so no answer. off the table. And I think it's absolutely bizarre at this stage in the negotiations for uh, the UK yet again to be weakening its own position. It's absolutely it vital that we prepare for no deal, that we come out on October the 31st, and then we Conservatives will be able to talk to the people of this country about the things that really matter to them. Uh, Mr Johnson, would you do a deal with the Brexit party? I don't believe in doing deals with any party. I think that uh, the Conservative Party is a great party, it's a broad church. One of the advantages I have in this uh, campaign is actually I already have the support of more than half of the Conservative Parliamentary Party, dozens of uh, Remainers as, as well as Leavers. Uh, sometimes things that you have to say to your friends that you'd rather not say, like I said to President Trump today, because I think his comments about Theresa May were unacceptable, and I don't think he should have made them. He was dragged into a, a British political debate in which, in the way he sometimes is. I don't think that's necessarily the right thing for him to do, as Jeremy has said, but on Kim Darroch and on uh, British civil servants, I, I would just say this. I think it is absolutely vital that uh, the advice that civil servants give to ministers should not be leaked by ministers and should not be commented on by ministers if civil servants are going to feel free to give that advice okay. with the impartiality uh, that they want. And the relationship between the UK and the USA is the most important alliance in history. On that, I agree with President Trump. But who chooses our ambassadors is a matter for the United Kingdom government and the United Kingdom Prime Minister. So I have made it clear <laughs> that if I am our next Prime Minister, the ambassador in Washington stays because it's our decision. Could... If I am our next... It is vital that our, our civil service is not politicised by, uh, by ministers leaking what they say. Will he still uh, whoever, give his job come whoever, January? Whoever leaked that deserves to be eviscerated. Um, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, value, I, I greatly admire his ability to, uh, to change his mind on... <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and campaign uh, for, for Brexit now, and I think that's a very important... Uh, Attribute. Well, I, I, uh, I really admire Boris's ability to answer the question. Uh, he has this, uh, has this great ability. You ask him a question, he puts a smile on your face, and you forget what the question was. It's a brilliant quality for a politician. Maybe not a prime minister, though.